wetland for me. Growing up around here, the importance of it for us was just food. Like uh, in August, you when the when the ducks are molting and that, we used to go around the sh shore like this as kids, and we'd we'd go and we'd have dogs with us. The dogs would chase the ducks out that couldn't fly, and the ones that because they're molting, they can't fly. They'd run inshore and then would would kill them, and then would go right around the lake like that. And also, when I was a kid, I'd go to my grandfather to places like this, and and as soon as the the geese and ducks were back, we'd go gather eggs. I didn't know I wanted to be a scientist. I, I knew at 10 that whatever I wanted, I wanted my job to be something that was out here in, in where the land met the water. I didn't realize that you know one could sort of grow up and live off the land. That was never an option for me. The, the option was, well, I could study them. This, this is really important. There's a lot of medicines in here, and uh, even this, this year cattail. One of my brothers one time were back in a bush, and uh, they, uh, they burnt their foot. Mm -hmm. And so what my mom did is she took this stuff along with some lard and they put it on there mm -hmm. and then they, they wrapped his foot up. Hmm. And that's, that was for a burn, bandage. yeah. Uh -huh. This wow. is all medicine and even the certain times of the year coming up here, the roots, mm -hmm. you know, that's a, that's a yeah. food. We're looking at a poplar tree that a beaver has cut years ago. And this one's tapered as you can see. Okay, here's an, an example of a, of a chainsaw. They've cut this here. Here's an example of a beaver, one that's cut with it by a beaver. Can't do it. Look at the beaver, the one that beaver did. See? Well, why it's important is because this here is chewed on an angle. So when the water hits it, it reflects off. It doesn't absorb back in. If it's cut straight across like this, the water sits on it and it takes longer for it to decay. You can see this here just decays right away, you know? And it's gone back into the earth. Can't do it. If it's cut straight with a chainsaw, it's left there for probably another 10 years. That's one thing I'd like to have people change their views on is, you know, people regard beavers as a pest instead of as something that creates one of the most valuable ecosystems mm -hmm. on earth. And uh, what, how do your people view beaver? It's, it's, it's put there by the creator exactly mm -hmm. for that, mm -hmm. to, to change the way that the water is meant to be. Mm -hmm. You know, not, some people view it as, as being dead, stagnant water, mm -hmm. but that all is, is a reason. There's a dam there mm -hmm. supporting life to keep the water on the land, to keep it from all running off quickly. You yeah. know? And so you have beaver there, and so what if it takes a few trees? I mean, that's its role, that's its job. Mm -hmm. We were doing a, a consultation with a, with, a, with a pipeline company, and I asked that very same question. I says, well, okay, if you're running a pipeline across an area where there was a beaver house and stuff, what mm -hmm. happens to the beaver? Mm -hmm. You know, and her thing was, well, it's not an endangered species. I said, yeah, but... Uh, neither we, neither we, are humans. That's right. <laughs> neither were Carol at one time, right? That's right. Yeah. I know the species, and I understand how they work, but I've never had my survival, for example, depend upon anything like this. And now to put it the best way that I could describe it is uh, it's the kidney of the world. Mm -hmm. All wetlands. But different wetlands have different sort of functions that I study. And mm -hmm. so sometimes peatlands have one sort of value that I as a scientist would value, and other wetlands have other values. I come out to a lake and I would say, well, it's my hypothesis, it's my theory that this lake's plants and animals are responding to some, per some parameter. And then I go and test that, and it's, it's a yes or no answer. What I see that elders and native peoples know, it's a comprehensive understanding of the ecosystem. And they're very analytical for things that relate to what they need to know for their, for their survival or their enjoyment, actually, too. As a scientist, I come in and I actually don't have any 
we're near that comprehensive understanding. I might be able to look out there and see that there's snails, and so that means the pH of that water is going to be, you know, like seven to eight, and that you'll never have problems with acid rain. But it's such a narrow perspective relative to what native peoples have. To us, science is, is more what we have seen happen, what we know is gonna happen, because we're using everything from the past that we've learned. To us, that's our vision of science. You know, I'm only coming there when I happen to come out to sample. I really don't know the land. You know, I know, I know the science of it, but I don't know, you know, what comes and goes and, you know, how the seasons affect each little thing. And that's hugely important. I mean, mm -hmm. the way you view it with, you know, the survival of the peoples and their entire education, that's much broader. You know, okay. So, so I mean, science tests hypotheses, yeah. and that's why it's narrow. I think what you have to do, First Nations, scientists have to be together. Somehow you have to work together where you use the elders' wisdom, where you can go out there and they can say, this is what we see happening on the land. This is, this is an indicator to us. There's another way I value uh, Native people is that actually by, ha by having to be consulted, and I think they should be increasingly consulted, that's actually one of the few powers that uh, are available for in our society. And, and I think we ought to be linked together there and say, you, uh, you need to be consulted more, and you need to know more of what we know, because it's, it's only actually Native peoples that can stop anything. That's you might right. not feel that way, but we do. Yeah. <laughs>